Hey now, if you watched Race Crews and you've seen that review of the Cobra stunt set, I showed these cars here. Well, guess what? Uh, I was going to make it, I was going to put this on Mr. Grooves too, just the cars. And then I went, uh, I found some more hot ones. So what I'm going to do is in the beginning right here, I'm going to give you bonus content that was not shown in that review. I'm going to show these extra pieces. I got something to talk about here. I got something to talk about here. I got something to talk about here. Someone. Anyways, I got bonus content for Mr. Grooves. And then after that, I'm going to put this stuff here that was in that track set re review. Maybe you didn't watch that review because th these cars were way at the end. So now this is on Mr. Grooves. Let's go ahead and see. Here's the hot ones. Here you have the hot bird. There's the Hot Ones wheels. Yeah, I did not show this. I found it today when I was looking for something else. So it's like, you know what? Let's go ahead and put this in the uh, on the Mr. Groove's bonus content. Here you have down here, copyright 1982. So these things, uh, wow, almost 40 years old now. And uh, I don't have a sample of the Mustang convertible. Let's see what else we have here. Oh, flat out 442. Um, this is a blue package, so these are earlier, 1979, 1980. Mm, that's, uh, I don't, I don't have this part memorized. I just generally have an idea. Early 80s for hot ones. Here you have flat out 442. Now, I'm going to open them up and do a downhill racing video eventually on race grooves. But for now, I'm just keeping them in the package. Metal body, metal base says flat out 442 on the base and this was made in uh, this was made in Hong Kong well, I can't see it in that one let's try this one here a color variation that's why I went ahead and brought out both of these the hot ones wheels uh, you know what they're uh, six spokes two four six six spokes there I have uh, two colors of that and let's see if I can see the Hong Kong on the base on this one there you go flat out 442 Hong Kong and second color. Now I, I did not show this either. I've got a couple more after this. 80s Firebird and there you have the uh, Firebird logo. It's not the same as the Hotbird. Here you have the Hot Wheels Hotbird with uh, their flying chicken or whatever it was called. <laughs> Something chicken I forgot. And here's the uh, 80s Firebird. Oh actually Firebird. Yeah yep yep yep. So this one has a T-top, so does this. This is a Hot Wheels uh, creation, and this might be attributed now. Nowadays, this might actually be licensed by Pontiac. Let's take a quick look at the back. Again, uh, Mustang convertible, Mustang convertible. They don't, uh, they, it seems like they only have a few variations on the back of the packages. Here you have an 80s Corvette, and just like some of those, uh, you know, these things are old. Uh, someone had these in heat, in a, in heat, in a hot area in heat. That's funny. Metal body, metal base, Hot Wheels, 80s Corvette, made in Hong Kong. Copyright 1982. This does have an opening feature. There you go. Oh, stuck. There you go. Has a little uh, something in the back there. Duffel bag. I'm not sure what that is. I'll put that away in a moment. Love this car right here. Speed Fleet. Now, I, I don't know. It says Hot Ones, right? The other packages were Hot Ones. Now, these look like they have Hot Ones wheels, but, but they're not called Hot Ones. Whenever I see this car, I always think about that pinball game called the Black Knight. And this that's the name of this car, the Black Knight. The tempo is not that great. On the back, wow, look at all those cars you can collect in 1989. Now, when I when I did the re review of those, I had mentioned that some of the cars might have been released with different names. So this one is Front Running Fairmont, and this car is called Race Ace. But uh, actually, uh, they're the same car. They just got two different names. This one does say Fairmont on the base, and this one right here says Fairmont, and you can tell you can tell that they're the same body style. 
pause right there. And let's see what was on the back of this one. There you go. Mustang convertible. I got to make sure I put the car with that package because uh, I, I just got to know that. Uh, same thing. Oh, wait a second. 67 Camaro. What's the back of this one? So this one has a 67 Camaro. This one has a classic Packard. I don't have a sample of the... Uh, I, I, I don't know if I have one or not. Uh, I had to I had to stop looking for cars. I got to get going and make the video already. Been working on this for hours. Just as bonus part, uh, hours looking for cars, figuring out how I want to do it. So, yeah, put the 67 Camaro. And where'd you go? Over here. There you go. There is the 67 Camaro that they show on the back of the package. And what's in this package, oh, this was a... Another sample I had of the front run in Fairmont, but because it had the Camaro on the back, I want to go ahead and uh, show this one here. And this is, uh, is this the first one? Mm, I forget why this one's desirable. This is not the very first Camaro. Or is it? I don't know. I don't know. Got to move on. And uh, here's the opening hood. It's one of the cars that had the longest running uh, production time of a model with the opening hood, metal body, metal base. By the way, uh, Cannonade is one of the cars that you're going to see coming up. Oh, yeah, that uh, Mustang, it was uh, part of that set. You'll see that in that video. But Cannonade is one of the ones that you're going to see coming up. And I mentioned, uh, I think it was the Masters of the Universe, and there it is. And I mentioned that it has an opening hood. So I thought I'd go ahead and uh, thankfully I found this one. You know, I was uh, looking all over for the place for this, and I thought, you know what? I'm just going to swipe a picture for the from the Internet, and then I'll just put it up in the corner. And I even had one, and then sure enough, when I did a search, one of my pictures showed up. Why does this track time picture show up for Cannonade? And then I look at that jammer, and I think, oh, yeah, I did a track time snippets with Cannonade. So uh, that's how I was able to find isn't that a funny story? I found my car because of a picture on the internet. I didn't know where it was. So again, the Hot Ones wheels. Oh, check out the uh, price tag. Wins. Uh, I don't think that's a store in California. That's somewhere else in the country. Uh, the Hot Ones are like six-spoke wheels, like looking like that. And then Hot Wheels went to basic wheels. So if you see people talking about cars and they say BW, that's for basic wheels or black, black walls, actually. I get confused between the two. So here's a nice sample, Turismo. Mm, this one's not a dollar car for you to pick up. I don't know if I'm ever going to open up this one. There's a look at the pass the uh, package. Hey, that one's that one's oh landlord I think. Uh, Caddy and Fire Eater I think is the name. 57 Chevys on the back with the Hot Ones wheels. Yeah, you can see that coming up. Here's a nice one up front. Not. For the longest time, there was this was the only Hot Wheels car that started with a U, but now there's at least one more, Unobtainium. Here you go on the package. Greased Gremlin. Hey, uh, we just showed that one. And uh, this one was not a popular uh, van right here. Mm, Astro Van, I forgot the name. There's a look at the top. Uh, I don't know if I'll ever be opening this one up. It's the only one I have up front. 924. Oh, yeah, it does say that right there. A front 924. Copyright 1978. And so I'm talking about this because this is after Hot Ones. And you have the basic wheels. Uh, how's that for a uh, list of cars right there? Now, uh, coming up in this part, it showed Ultra Hots. So uh, you had the Hot Ones wheels. And then they came out with the Ultra Hot wheels. So I thought, well, I'll go ahead and show you as bonus content for Mr. Grooves. GT Racer. And there it is with the Ultra Hot Wheels. I love these wheels. Can't tell you why. Really love these wheels. There you go. Metal base. It doesn't have the name on the base. This is one of the cars where people post a picture online and say, hey, does anybody have, know the name of this car? Uh, it's a pretty common car for people to, to wonder what the name of that car is. I'm going to fit in a break right now. And after the break, you'll see all these cars right here that I showed in, in the video. Now, some of them, some of them I opened up for, uh, to test on that track. So I just have a few segments 
with uh, testing them on the track coming up after the break. But as far as the uh, review of that set, that's on Race Grooves. The full video is on Race Grooves. You're just getting a special presentation here on Mr. Grooves. Okay, I'll be right back after the break. And yes, I'm going to use the Mustang Cobra that came with the set. Oh, get it? Cobra? Mustang Cobra? No wonder why they use this car. Metal base, metal body, and these are the Hot Ones wheels. I don't know if it's enough drop, but we're going to find out. Well, I made it through the loop, but it was not enough speed to extend the tongue. This car is loose. I think it goes in this package, Racing Stalker. It appears that this, this model had a couple names. We'll go ahead and take a look at it. There is your, or there are your Hot Ones wheels. Take a look at uh, the graphics while we're up close. Again, metal base, metal body. How is this one going to do in the loop? I don't know. It's a different body design. The Mustang Stalker, it's kind of, it seems like it's higher up and it has a short, short bumper in front. Uh, not a whole lot. Hopefully this doesn't scrape in the loop. We're going to find out. Set, go. Cut. Cut. Bring the car around. It comes around. The front bumper is dragging. The wheels, the wheels aren't even touching the ground. Let's check out the 82 Supra. Uh, it kind of has a body design similar to the Mustang. Might be able to make it. Yeah, it's got a big old hole in the blizzard. <laughs> Which way are you going to come out? There you go. And there's the name inside. 82 Supra. Set, go. Oh, almost. Let's try it again. I'm going to give it a little push. Nope. This 911 Porsche has a really short wheelbase. P911. Metal base, metal body, ultra hot wheels. Well, if any car is going to work besides the Mustang, Mustang Cobra, it should be this one. I'm still at the 21 inch drop. Well, does that count? I say let's ditch the loop. The Mustang Cobra will be first. Here we go. Well, that wasn't too good. 82 Supra. Hmm. P911 or the Porsche 911. We're 0 for 3. Maybe this uh, longer body style will work out. I check this off. Let's just let's just have it come straight through the serpent's head. Mustang Cobra. Perfect. 82 Supra. I have that little bend in the track. That might have caused the Supra to go on its side. P911 Porsche. What was that? Here comes a full-bodied racing stalker. Uh, you know what? That's the name. It says right on the base. Copyright 1982. That's the year it was copyrighted, not produced. Yep, the angles of the sidewalls definitely cause the cars to go on their sides. Let's go ahead and open up Race Ace. It's another full-bodied car. By the way, I haven't been showing the back because they're, they all show the same thing. They show this Mustang convertible down here on the bottom. 1982. In white with number 13, race ace. <laughs> Come on. I don't remember why this was cut. I don't know. But I got a deal on the pack. You know, someone just wanted the patch. Came with Hot Wheels patches. Uh, look how old Criss Cross Crash is. This package is 1981, Hawthorne, California, 1981, and look, crisscross crash. That's the old style crisscross crash. Look, it had hand cranks. That's kind of a cool idea. But I have some of these, and you know what? The, the, it's like a foam booster when you when you crank it around. I mean, it works. You can't go too fast because whee, cars go off. But the, the foam booster is just 
corroding, just falling apart on that older piece. What else did they show on the other side? Service center, stow and go. There's a look at that one. Let me pause so you can see that if you'd like. And on top, uh, so this was the service center. And on top, it looks like it's a city stone go. That's another one. So what are the two cars? Uh, let's see, number 27. How about that one? A Datsun 200SX. Here's a Corvette Stingray. I'm going to keep these in the package. I'll be doing downhill racing with them at some point. Uh, there's your Corvette. This casting's been around for a long time. That's why when you look at the base of a modern uh, Corvette Stingray, this one has a copyright date in 1975 because that's when it was originally copyrighted, not when it was produced, 1981. Let's see, that's the only one I have this. Now, as far as these two, I might have happened to have a couple singles over here. Uh, yeah, I got a couple singles. I could have I had this one go down the track, but that's okay. Uh, anyways, and this one, I don't have a loose one. Nope, I don't have a loose one of this, so we gotta look at it. The, the monitor makes it look, it is yellow. The car is yellow. It is not a yellow blister making it look like that, just so you know. Give you a nice slow look in case. Uh, this is more of a collector video as well, looking at old classic sets. 200ZX in the license plate. And again, metal base, copyright 1981. And <laughs> what was the production? Uh, it actually got released the same year it was produced. And this one here. That is the front-running Fairmont. If you do downhill racing, this is a car you need to get, okay? This is a very fast car. This one's open up. We'll check it out. There you go. Fireball Junior. Pretty cool. They put the number in the flames. Number 27. Kind of gives me a feel of snake or mongoose. I forget. I think snake. Kind of a color scheme reminds me. Other side is the same. And look at the base. Front running Fairmont's on the base. They did reissue this for the Hot Ones mm, a few years ago. Mattel had a Hot Ones series. Uh, they might have called it a different name instead of Front Running Fairmont's. I forget. Something like that. Number 21, T Bird Stalker. I'm going to keep this one in the package for now. Uh, I might. Or do I have a loose one? Here we go. We have a loose one. But I have this here for the package. I'm not sure what was on the other side. Revin hot for the track, but I'm not sure what this was. I like looking at the price tags. Jewel Mart, $3.99. Our price, $2.96. Kind of sounds like one of those <laughs> kind of there's stores that still do this no, not nowadays. Oh, Solaire. Mm, I like Solaire. CX4, I think it is. Anyway, see, I told you, look, on the back, all of them, 65 Mustang convertible. Now we'll take a look at... The Hot Wheels Thunderbird Stalker. That's what it says on the base package. Yep, Thunderbird Stalker. These are very fast. Metal base, metal body. Valvoline sponsorship. The windows are kind of uh, fogged up. What else do we have here? Let's go ahead and uh, let's get, go to a, something different. Chevy Citation uh, X11. This is uh, look. It has ultra hot. So it might be it might be fast, but as far as the car itself, I I don't think that this car would be fast by itself unless it has a special engine in there, special motor. Uh, I have not checked. So let's oh look, metal flake paint. Let me. Can you see it? It's hard to see in the blister, but it does have metal flake paint. Maybe if we go this way. What is that? Wow. That that crack is on. See that? See that line? That's in the paint on top of the car. That's okay because we're going to be racing it. It's all right. We being me. Here we have 55 Chevy. This is a nice classic. Got a big hole in it, but mm, it doesn't open up. This, uh, let me see. I think it's a metal body. Metal base. 55 Chevy. What's the back? Oh, classic Packard. Yeah, the, on the back of this one, the Citation. Look what was on the back. 67 Camaro. Do you have a sample of that car? Yeah, yeah. That's pretty cool. 
This stately limousine that proudly bears the Packard, a stately limousine that proudly bears the Packard name. Love the Packard. Excellent model. Can't get it out. Here you have Murata Stalker. The base says Murata Stalker. And the reason I'm looking at the base, you know, sometimes they put a different name. They'll give it like a nickname for special lines. Uh, sometimes with um, special series, they'll like give it a name for the series, but the base will say something else. I did not know if they did that with the uh, Ultra Hots, I mean the Hot Ones releases. So that's why I showed that. I got Ultra Hots on my mind all of a sudden because uh, the, this uh, Solaris CX-4 has Ultra Hot Wheels on there. Let's see, I have a... Uh, not you, grabbed the wrong car. Here you have Camaro Z28. Uh, it's not busted all the way, so I gotta leave it for now. Camaro Z28. Just graphics on the side. Can't see the base. And the last car, Cannonade. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know if this is a fast car. Cannonade. Isn't that what? I think this car they made with He Man graphics, didn't they? Or Masters of the Universe, I think. Or is that the same series? Same cartoon series, I don't know. No name on the base. Uh, this car does have an opening feature. You can see the hood has, it's hard to see. You can see a line on the hood. You can see a line right there. I do believe this does have an opening feature. It does not mention that on the car. Mm, what is this, a Supra? And classic Cobra on the back, real riders. And you can pause this to check it out right there. On the Track Time channel, I use these sections from that Cobra stunt set right there. Or if you want to see the review of that track set, I'll give you a link. And then when it gets to the part where I show the cars, you already seen that part. Thank you for watching and happy collecting. Have fun with some of your cars too, okay? Bye-bye.